What's up guys, Casual Billy here, doing another action figure review, um, and today we're going to be looking at um, four of the possible eight action figures for the, the new Batman action figures that Spin Master have done. Um, right off the back, I just think, you know, these action figures look really, really impressive, um, and it's nice to see the line improving and using new moulds. Right, so first up, we are going to take a quick look at the Batman, um, and I'm really impressed with this. I'm really impressed with that head sculpt. It is not a soft sculpt in any way. Um, he just looks really, really good, um, and his proportions are in better scale now and everything. Um, I, I just, I really like him. He was the first one I picked up. I, um, I did lose his accessories. I can't remember where I put them, but they are in the house somewhere. Um... But yeah, just like, you will look at the older figures later, and this is just a massive improvement uh, compared to the older figures. So let's take a look at Nightwing, um, and he is really impressive too. So I really like the sculpted detail that this figure has. A um, lot, of, lot of sculpted detail. Um, he has the chin strap, which is cool. Um, the blue is super, super vibrant. Um, just a really good Nightwing figure, and again, like um, the new mold, the the new scale, um, just really really complements the figure. I think. Taking a look at Robin, which is another incredible offering. Um, his colours are just so vibrant. Um, he looks really good. I don't know about him not having a cape, but I can live with that. I think this is supposed to be Tim Drake, which is my favourite. And probably everybody else's favourite Robin. Um, but if you told me it was Damien, I guess I'd be shocked. But um, I, I could believe it. But no, this is Tim Drake to me. And there's looking at the Joker. Um, and this is a really classic, definitive looking Joker figure um, for your Batman to punch. I imagine everybody will be pretty happy with this. It actually looks like... The Joker from the recent story, do you know, um, from Joker War. Uh, but I'd still say he looks amazingly classic. Next, we're going to take a look at the accessories. And they come in these branded paper bags with a Batman logo on it, which is freaking brilliant, to be fair. Um, they, they are pretty goofy, some of them. So I think Nightwing has the best accessories because... He comes with um, his billy clubs, and then he comes with um, this little Nightwing sort of batarang thing. And uh, and then it's Robin, because he comes with his, his bow staff, or his gun staff, and then he also comes with this grapple launch thing, which is pretty cool, but again, pretty goofy. And, you know, you'll have to let me know, because you might know better than me, but um, I think these accessories might be just reused from the older figures uh, as you can see the Joker's got this laughing gas thing with a tongue sticking out of it um, and this awkwardly oversized knuckle duster I'm gonna see if it actually fits with um, one of my tough looking car figures because uh, it, it looks like it, it should although they have pretty loose hands to be fair let's see let's see if it yeah there we go does he look cool no, that's that's pretty loose. So next up, we're going to look at the articulation. And I don't think much has changed articulation-wise um, compared to the, the earlier figures. Um, four basic figures, I've always said, Spin Master do a pretty good job. You know, these figures won't look super clean, but you can still get them in semi-dynamic poses um you know your kids still will be able to play around and pose these figures uh the only thing i really will say is um if if they could improve on it they would they would be amazing if they had just a little bit of waist articulation um i know that spin master did some league of legends figures not too long ago and they was able to implement that there that would be cool to see so before I get out of here, um, I'm going to do some comparisons. 
here's the McDonald's Batman animated series figure, which was the first Batman figure. I really had that look like Batman. That wasn't a Kenner one with all the bright yellow colours. Um, and then on the other side, this is the basic Epic Heroes Mandalorian that um, I've recently reviewed, just so you can get a look at them two together. Here's Batman next to um, some other of my favourite action figures in this scale. So we have Shrapnel from the car. Um, such a, an amazing, cool-looking figure. And then Django Fett, which is my figure of the year so far. Um, he is right up there at number one spot. Here he is next to Jazzwares Rust Lord figure. Um, the Fortnite figures are really cool. Um, and then we've got the most recent Deathstroke that came out. Um, and I'm glad to see that he doesn't look too out of scale with this Batman. Like, they can still fit and look like they're part of the same universe. And so, here is the new Batman next to the old Spin Master Batman mould. Um, so, there was a lot of different... Batmans in variant colours that came out, but a lot of them shared this mould. I think there was an armoured version as well. Um, these are just the ones that I picked up. Um, one thing um, you can really notice between the two figures is just how blocky the older figures look compared to the newer figures. And um, they've even improved on the fabric that they use for the cape, so it's not that horrible plasticky sort of thing now it's actually this this nice feeling more flowing cloth um type fabric lastly we're going to look at um the new batman figure with um some movie figures from spin master so we have the robert pattinson batman which i swapped the head out because the original head looked freaking terrible um, and I'd rather have an inaccurate head than a terrible looking one. And then the one next to it is um, Batman from the Flash movie, Michael Keaton. There you have it. That was a quick look at the new Spin Master Batman action figures. And I am in with this scale. Um, I like the new moulds. Um, I will be buying the other figures. Don't know if I'll review them. But I will definitely be picking them up. Um, like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. And you're looking forward to seeing what I bring in the future. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next few reviews, I guess. Or whatever I plan to do next.